deal with that. What are you doing? Hmm? Wanna go check out the guinea run? No? You just wanna sit back and relax, huh? You're getting old, girl. I erected the new guinea run today, so hopefully it'll be good in this. I still got some cleaning up to do, but it's getting pretty good. The chickens are in here running around now. Hey guys, chickens are in here running around now. What? Getting it all situated. I'm gonna go in here and remove some of these sticks. I might leave this brush pile here. That's what I understand that like they're running hide under bush. I might even lay some eggs down there. And clear on the other side they have more of a run i gotta put a net over top of it but this should be pretty good for them i got some guavas in here growing this is just pink one i got from lowe's at the death racks i think it was like three dollars or something for that but that's it over here might as well see if we got any eggs oh there's an egg i'll take that so i got any eggs up here and nope and speaking of guineas, I should rotate these guys. It's been a couple hours. Well, that's pretty much it. The neighbor brought over some chicken eggs, so I got chickens in there as well. Is that no new number one? Last year they're about the size of my palm. Well, this year they're easily double that, bigger than my hand. So I thought these little bags would be perfect. Obviously, they're not because they're tearing out of those bags. So, I guess I'll just finish taking them out of those bags. Some of these I did. These are bagged up and just not doing well at all. So, I took the bugs or the bags off. But I don't really see any bug damage or anything. Hopefully, when I open these up, they're not going to be full of maggots or anything. Hopefully, not. You can see, yeah, they're tearing out of those bags. They got huge this year. This one's like ginormous. But, no, oh well, like last year, this was like my biggest size I had last year. But, I don't know. Hopefully these turn out pretty good. They're pretty tasty. This here is my Red Queen. It's still doing fine. It has those huge bags on them. But, they need to ripen up. Because these are absolutely wonderful. I'm not real big on a lot of papayas. But these ones are pretty good. So this one's, I'm not even trying, trying to bag them now to see if anything gets to them. Just a scar. But, nothing's getting to them yet. They're still rock hard. I still have a ways to go until they're ready. This Indian gooseberry. Holy guacamole. These things are beautiful. Really cool looking trees. I'm trying to keep it short. So like on these ends over here. See I just take that end right off. See that if that focuses. Take the end right off. And I try to get the branch more. Because this did get hurt last year by the frost. And I want to be able to protect it the best I possibly can. From a frost. This is a really... Really cool trees. This one would be easily 10 foot tall if I hadn't gone through and removed the tips off of it. I'm forcing it to branch out more. Remember a few months back, I dug this huge pit over here and filled it with mulch and compost and everything. Put bananas and some root crops down around the bottom. Seems to do pretty well. Seems to be doing pretty well. I mean, the sugar cane isn't the happiest. See that pile is slowly shrinking down. I was going to put some pots over there just to make use of that space, but maybe I'll just take a couple pots. See, I got this pepper here. I haven't been around in a while. Something likes it. Definitely a cool, cool pot. It's always starving for some, some kind of nutrition. Oh, look at that. Something likes that pit, too. Little bunny rabbit. You're cool. You can hang out. Just don't eat the important plants, huh? What you doing? Where'd you go to? You got a little home in there.
I had gone through and I clipped the tips of my pawpaws hoping to get more branches but all it did was just send a branch up by the top to grow taller so that idea of trying to turn them bushy didn't work at least not yet maybe I have to let them get taller before I can try that this little air layer garcinia I have here I'm gonna limit her up those look so cool when they come out isn't that awesome definitely a cool plant to have in your Florida food forest this is just an air layer off of a bigger one it's doing really well. I pointed out I didn't get any fruit on the macadamia this year, but it's it's putting its grow on. It's looking pretty sharp. Looking pretty sharp. So hopefully next year, I'll have to stand out here with a sword and guard against uh, squirrels taking the nuts. There's a surprise, the gemberry is going in the flower. Woo! These are a cool addition to the Florida food forest for sure. I love these things. I did the same thing with the long gan here. I just took the tops off of them, tried to get them to branch out more, and I can see a bunch more new buds pushing out the sides there, which is what I wanted. Definitely getting a lot more side branches pushing out. You see all those? This is going to be an awesome, awesome addition to the Florida food forest. I've been too busy to come out here and do any real weeding or anything, so the weeds are taking over, but there is a rose apple. Pretty excited about that. And here's one I'm going to keep in a pot. It might need a bigger pot next year, but I'm going to keep that in a pot so I can take it in. So if we get hit by cold weather, I should help it go through that pretty well. Oh, you look at all the weeds out here. I mean, this is a crazy. <laughs> I've been way too busy. But look at the little pineapples on there. Oh my gosh, they're so precious. These things will tear you to shreds, though. Tear you to shreds. Ah, oh, see, I just touch it and it sticks right into me. Pretty cool little plant though. The weeds have definitely taken over. Here's a jujube. The flowers are just popping on that. Kind of smells like uh, mothballs. <laughs> Not really the best smelling thing in the world, but it'd be cool if I got some fruit off it. That is erupting. And the Katuk, really cool plant to have in the Florida food forest for sure. All the little stages of the flower. To fruit, to big fruit, those aren't so bad either. First I didn't like them. I was expecting like a sweet berry type flavor. You're not gonna get that. It's more like a, a, a green flavor. Pretty yummy. But almonds. I sold a bunch online in Florida, or not Florida Food Forest, but the, um, what is Facebook Marketplace. People were like, oh, that's marijuana. Another person was like, that's cassava, man. No, it's it's Java almonds. It's Java almonds. These are another ones I tried to take the tops off of to get them to branch out more. And they didn't. I don't know, kind of a cool addition to the Florida Food Forest. Interesting about them uh, that it's kind of sticky. Cool looking plant though. Definitely if I can get it to survive until they get bigger. These are all the ones I couldn't sell on the marketplace so I figured oh, I'll give them a try. And here is the Peruvian apple cactus hedge. Man, I gotta get out here and do some serious weeding. Look at all that. Gee whiz, getting covered up. I have 152. Peruvian apple cactus. That's a cool one there. Oh, there's one that got busted off. I'll have to fix that. See, there was tree guys just out here. Man, I just wrecked. Wrecked them. It's getting big. There's one that didn't make it. So 151 Peruvian apple cactus. Oh, there's there's a fruit right there. It ain't ready yet. I'll wait till it splits. I'll keep checking on that daily. Wait till it splits, and they're pretty yummy.
And here's some lemongrass. I'm gonna pull this out of the ground. I usually just use it as a chop and drop, but I'm gonna stick it in a guinea fowl run. They like to hide in some tall grasses, so I'm gonna stick it in there. When I get my netting over top, stick it in there, let them hide in that too. They should like that pretty well. Well, that's it for today. I appreciate you taking this walk with me as I look around the Florida food forest here. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Wow, that beauty berry is just erupting. Look at that. Amazing. It tastes like a whole lot of nothing, though.